Yo, what's going on guys? NRU UK Racing League here and welcome to the Mick the Cup Series for race 29 out of 30 of the season. This is the Miller Light 400 from Rockingham. We're deciding who goes ahead to Homestead. Best of luck to everyone out there today. Boy, this is going to be something else. We have got a great McGeorge series fight for the title. Hope you can join us then at um, at half four p.m. Eastern time, four thirty. Join us for the cup series at five p.m. Eastern time for you guys. But further ado, let's get in to decide who's going to Homestead for the cup series. Now the points. Standings looks something like this. Tyler Bradley comes in to the race as your points leader on 44 points. Behind him, Joe Rutkowski, three points trailing on 41. Derek Hamill on 39. Also has a realistic shot at making it to Homestead. Those three look pretty good right now if they can stay and out of any issues from today. Colton Yo and Luigi Octavo both still have a shot to make it. However, they're going to need some superb results today to see them go towards Homestead. Without further ado, best of luck to all 42 drivers. We'll see you hopefully at Homestead later. Let's get in to the starting lineup for today's race. As you said, it's going to be wild. It's going to be mad. And this is Rockingham. This is going to be some crazy action who is going to be taken out of the equation? Who is going to be right stuck in it? Here's your starting lineup. Sebastian Kukulon starts on the pole then to the outside, the 40 of Tyler Bradley. Then we have Joe Rutkowski and Keith Stevens, followed by Maya McDonald and Anthony Charlebois. Remember Rutkowski and Bradley, two fighting for the title. Then we have Derek Bouchard and Derek Hamill once again. Another guy fighting for the title. Then we have Roger Ray and William Seaman, William Bulin and Max Anderson, followed by Landon Lyons and Mac Johnson. On the next row, Mathis Wells and Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Next up, we have Greg Lee and Joe Jefferson. On the next row, Logan Cloud and Ethan Strite. Following them has TJ Smith and Marcus Sacchi. Then we have Luigi Octavo, who has, a, has an outside shot of making it to Homestead. To his inside, Tim Randolph. Then we have... Adam McDowell and Nathan Stapleton, followed by Artemi Fedorov and Kaylee Bran. Up next, Jay Jefferson and Steve Larker, followed by Colton Yo, who again has an outside shot to make it to Homestead. Then we have Phoebe Owata and Code Luigi with Nicholas Wade. Then we have Mark Melanz and Larry Bouchard, Diego Yepes and Juan Garcia. Up next, Dash Baran and Carter Friesen. And on the final row is Alexander Rowe and Luke Rainey. And Joe's just released his video. That means I guarantee get no viewers. Just kidding. Everyone should go check out Joe's channel. It is superb. It is a fantastic channel. Best NR, NR League out there, in my personal opinion. You should go check it out. But no worries about that for now. It's all about who is going to get to the NRUK Championship Finale and Sebastian Kukulon has an issue before the start. That means the top two in points, Bradley and Rutkowski, are going to start on the front row. Kukulon has issues. The green flag will fly. We're racing. And off of turn number two, Rutkowski needs a big day. Can he get it off the turn? They're all jostling for position. Racing off turn two. They keep it straight for now. Derek Bouchard to the inside lane in the 30. And towards the lead, Bouchard is going to lead lap number one at Rockingham. Somehow they're all going straight for now. They're getting things, things are getting dicey in the turn though. Charbois and Rutkowski getting close. Off the turn they go. Somehow they keep it straight again. Landon Lyons towards the inside lane to the lead. Here comes Fitzwater and Joe Jefferson as well. Getting very tight indeed. Tyler Bradley currently the highest running chaser right now. That is great news for him and his team.
Off the turn they race once again. They keep it straight. Landon Lyons leads the field through turns three and four. Here comes Zachary Fitzwater Sr. to the inside in the nine. Chalbois now runs in third. Behind them, Jefferson and Anderson. As they all battle, jostle for position right now. And off the turn, they're still fighting. Right now, Fitzwater blocks down low, but Chalbois chucks it to the bottom. Here comes William Bulin in the three. With a nice looking run. Here he comes towards the inside. William Bulin leads this lap. Max Anderson and Tyler Bradley making a charge on the inside lane. Bulin leads out in front at Rockingham. Max Anderson now throws it towards the inside. Here comes Max Anderson. A chaser who actually, looking at it, could mathematically still be in with a shot at Homestead if he gets the full 12 points today. He's gone towards the lead. Max Anderson, your new leader. I think he's getting dicey off the turn. Four wide. Mathis Wells and Joe Jefferson. Teammates getting dicey in the back of the field. Derek Hamill had a brief sigh of, sigh of relief there because he was on the outside of that four wide mess. He got through it though. Now here comes Marcus Sachi racing towards the front. Sachi leads this lap. Landon Lyons own Zachary Fitzwater Sr. have been strong so far. They're now, once again, coming towards the front. It's a free wide move for the lead. Zachary Fitzwater Sr. on the inside. Desperate for a Cup Series win. Here he comes towards the front. It's Fitzy in the nine who leads this lap. And out in front, the nine doing a nice job so far, fending off the competition. Down the back stretch they go once again. Tyler Bradley going towards the front. The points leader. The chase points leader. The massive favourite for the title. Will now run up towards the front. But everyone thinks happening behind Zachary Fitzwater Senior right now in the early stages here. Kukulon's back out on track. He will be a lap car though. And they are catching him. Fitzwater towards the inside in the nine. He's doing all right out front. Here comes William Bulin back. Tim Randolph as well. Derek Bouchard coming towards the front. Fitzwater leads another lap. But here comes Tim Randolph. Big run to the inside for the 36. Off the turn. They're going to go free wide again. Derek Bouchard towards the inside lane. In the 30. Here comes Derek Hamill towards the front. Look at this free wide move for the lead. Hamill wants the momentum going into Homestead. What a way he could do it today with a win. And here comes Derek Hamill. He desperately needs a lot of points. It would be such a bonus for him going into the race at Homestead. But Joe Jefferson will take the lead now. Here comes his title rival, Tyler Bradley, up through the field. Tyler Bradley now towards the front. The overwhelming title favourite. Goes towards the front again. Off of the turn they will go. Down the back stretch. Again, they've kept it straight for now. It's Tyler Bradley who leads out in front at Rockingham. He now moves up high. Here comes the 36 of Tim Randolph with help from Zachary Fitzwater Sr. and Code Luigi. Fitzwater to the bottom now, to the lead. He's had such a great car here today. If he can take it a victory lane, it'll be a more than deserved victory for this nine team. However, his lead does not last long. Here comes the 42, Co Luigi, with help from Mathis Wells in the 15. Luigi now drifts up the field. Mathis Wells comes on the inside in the 15. Free wide racing again at Rockingham. Wells towards the front. They're going to get four wide behind him again. Things are getting swirly. Kaylee Baran going up towards the front. Michael Waltrip racing. 1-2 right now. Wells and Jefferson lead. 
Wells goes up the track. Here comes Joe Jefferson towards the inside lane. And around the 42 of Cone Luigi. All of <clears throat> the chase candidates missed it, I think. Again, squirming again, coming off of four. But Luigi goes around. First caution of the day is out. Oh, my freaking throat's gone all boo-loo. Co Luigi spun around. And he will bring out the first caution of the day. Co Luigi goes spinning. And the first caution of the day is out on lap number 15. This will stack up the field again then. And you can see off the turn, Carter Friesen and Co Luigi just get hooked together here. They continue to get hooked. And once again, here they go. Around goes the 42. The brakes fully held on. There's Charbois that got into him. My jeez, man. McDowell came close. Rutkowski going towards the apron, trying to avoid that. And Co Luigi, second half of the season. Just has not gone to plan compared to the first. Back out in front then was, I believe, the 26 of Kaylee Baran maybe. Led this lap. Baran does. She'll be your leader as we come back to the restart. What about us? And she will be the leader. When we come back to restart on lap 20. Kukla on lap down. No retirees so far. Top 10 looks like this. Kaylee Brown runs first. Second. Joe Jefferson. Third. Points leader. Title favourite. Tyler Bradley. In third. Mathis Wells is into fourth. Fifth. For Alexander Rowe. How he's worked him way, his way up from the last row to fifth. Sixth. Fitzwater. Been good all day. Seventh. Tim Randolph. Eighth is Landon Lyons. Ninth. Derek Hamill. Another guy chasing the title. Tenth for Friesen. Rutkowski, at the moment, runs 33rd. A miserable day so far for Joe Rutkowski. Does the title maybe slip away from him here? But Kaylee Baran is leading this race so far. Back to restarting just halfway through this race. Green flag out in the air again. Kaylee Baran is your leader. And off of turn two, a big run to the inside for Joe Jefferson. Can he grab the lead here? He will. To the point. Joe Jefferson in the 55. Alexander Rowe from the very last spot is now up to second. What a run from the two team. Fitzwater helps him. Tim Randolph is down there. But it's all looking good from Rosie for Tyler Bradley right now. He's just doing such a good job of controlling this car. Row towards the inside with help from Fitzwater and Randolph. Alexander Rowe, your leader. Towards the inside. Here comes the nine of Zachary Fitzwater Sr. He's had such a strong car. He's now back up towards the front. Oh, they're wrecking. Landon Lyons around on the back stretch. Second wreck of the day. It looked like Joe Jefferson. And Landon Lyons, who's had an awful season. It goes even more downhill from here. Landon Lyons gets dumped and the second caution comes out in a matter of laps of the first. Landon Lyons sent spinning by the 55 off of the turn. They just get together with the two and bam, that's a hard link for both drivers. We hope they're okay. The one got absolutely mishmashed there. And it's just not looking good for a few drivers, Rutkowski especially. Not having the best days. Tim Randolph is the leader right now. We get restarted very soon.
Can Matt Terry start on lap 27 then? Landon Lyons out from this race. Kukul on a lap down. The top 10 look like this. Tim Randall first. Second is Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Third, Alexander Rowe. Fourth is Carter Friesen. Fifth, Kaylee Baran. Sixth, Tyler Bradley. Still the highest running chaser right now, I believe. He is. Seventh, Joe Jefferson. Eighth is William Seaman. Ninth, Mathis Wells. And tenth is Derek Camel. Tyler Bradley could put himself in a commanding lead for the title if he holds on to his position right now. We've still got a long a few laps to go, though, and Tim Randolph is currently your leader. Fitzwater on second. Can he get a cut win? Finally. Off the turn. Pace car. Down. Pit lane. Going to get restarted once again here. Tim Randolph is your leader. Green flag flies again. We're back racing. And once again, they race hard off turn two. It's Zachary Fitzwater Sr. who pulls side by side with a 36 off the turn. Freeze and make him moves late on. He's looking for a first career NR UK win. And here he comes, the 38, Carter Friesen. Behind Fitzwater and Randall for a battling hard out front right now. Tyler Bradley is sitting comfortably. Thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll be on a team next season. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. William, I hope you are as well. It'll be great to see you back. You're one of the... You're quite an active watcher, and I really uh, appreciate that, William. I hope you will be back for next season. And, um, yeah, glad to see you in the stream once again. But it's Friesen now, who leads out in front. F Roger Ray runs last. Don't know why we need to see that. This is what it looks like so far. It's, well, it's Friesen out in front. Here comes. Oh, God, I've done it again. Rowe, Baran, Tyler, Bradley. What a win this would be if he could get it done. Baran towards the lead, but here comes Tyler Bradley in the 40. And his case to become the Cup Series champion is looking very good right now. Towards the inside, Tyler Bradley will go with a push from Mathis Wells in the 15. Wells towards the inside. The 15 of Mathis Wells out towards the front. Fitzwater back up towards the front as well. He's had such a good car as the nine of Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Can he finally get a Cup Series career win? Off of the tourney races. They're battling hard for position here. Jefferson's there. Derek Bouchard is there. Here comes McDowell. Derek Hamill coming towards the front late on. Amac and Deham are coming and are charging. Towards the front is Fitzwater leads. It's getting dicey off of the turn. Oh, and Rainey is ashed. Luke, Rainey has crashed. We're going to have a late race restart here at Rockingham. Fitzwater leads out front. Hamill will come back in second. Fitzwater leads them back to the caution flag. The caution hasn't flown though. Rainey had wrecked. The caution has not flown. We continue racing for now. And it's Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Who leads? Out in front. Friesen now up to second. Alexander Rowe is coming. There's Mathis Wells. Fitzwater leads out in front. Off of the turn they go. Derek Hamill is going to need something from somewhere to take him to closer to Tyler Bradley. But it's not happening right now. Here comes Alexander Rowe to the front from the back row. What an effort from the two. Five to go at Rockingham. Caution comes out now. First driver to make it back will be your winner. 
Mark Milan's throwing his number 31 to the inside. Here goes Mark Milan's. Milan's to the lead. Keith Stevens, the season one champion, coming towards the front. Kaylee Buran there. They're all racing so hard. Keith Stevens around. This will be the race. And was that it? They stay green again. The caution has not flown yet. And it's all getting dicey off the turn. Fitzwater's touching bumpers. Milan's is there. Out in the lead. Stevens went flying towards the inside and they still have not thrown the caution. Seaman towards the front. Hamill and Friesen, but it's all happening by Mark Milan's. And don't know why he didn't throw the caution. Stevens was caught up in a massive incident there. Larry Bouchard coming towards the front. There's Jay Jefferson. But it's Mark Milan's doing a stellar job of leading this race so far. Both the Bouchards are there. Joe Jefferson is there. There's Kaylee Baran. Here goes Larry Bouchard. What a move with two to go. Larry Bouchard. Big move towards the inside. Is that the caution? No, Bouchard just got very tight on the apron. Mark Milans with Joe Jefferson and Friesen following. Joe Jefferson chucks the 55 to the inside. White flag is out. Joe Jefferson. The caution is out though. The caution was out. Did Milans get it? Anticlimactic finish. Mark Milans is going to victory lane. This time they get the caution flag out. Mac Johnson and others have wrecked. That was so anticlimactic. But they throw the caution eventually. And here they go across the line. Mark Milans is going to come away with a career win. Again in NRI UK. It's another win. Mark Milans is going in victory lane. What a win. But a whole load of incidents happened there. Let's start off with Keith Stevens. <coughs> <coughs> it was an anticlimactic finish. But Stevens was involved in two separate incidents here. I don't know how the caution flag didn't come out for them. Mark Milans has got a career win here. See, Stevens was racing for the lead. He gets turned by the 26 of Kaylee Baran into the wall. They did not bring out the caution for that, which I found very surprising indeed. Mark Milans got the win. I mean, that's a very anticlimactic finish there. Stevens was involved in the second incident as well on lap 40. That's the caution. That's the wreck that brought out the caution here. Maybe the 47 of Mac Johnson got involved. No, it happened way before these guys. It was the 15 of Mathis Wells here and Derek Bouchard. See them both racing down the back stretch. Tyler Bradley. Oh my, Tyler Bradley was so close to getting caught up in that. And around they all go, and then everyone piles in to Mike McDonald. And look at that, that's carnage if you've ever seen it. A lot of drivers taken out there. Luke Graney also wrecked. But it doesn't matter because Mark Milans has won this race. And has gone to victory lane. Here are the finishing results then. From the race, Mark Milan's wins. We'll go check out the point standings. Be there, 5 p.m. Eastern time for the Cup Series finale at Homestead. Half four is the Mick George Series finale. Want as many people to be there as possible. I hope to catch you guys then. Out from this race with all these guys. Colton Yo, not having the day he wanted. He will not be going to Homestead. Let's go check out the point standings. And then we would get in to what is happening. Hello stream. Hello stream. Yeah. Whilst you were gaming, thank you. Oh, Seaman commented. Thank you, William. For the comment. Fun to catch and subscribe to your channel. Yay! That's Alexander Rowe. Thank you for the the um subscription. Much appreciated. Oh yeah, I've got to open with 
open with Google Chrome. Let's see who is going to Homestead. What about us? What about all the ever after? So, Logan Cloud gets the maximum 12 points. Too little too late for Mr. Consistent. Had such a good season. It was not to be Finn, though, in the chase. 11 points to Derek Hamill. That's massive for Derek going into the final round. A big few points for Derek Hamill there. 10 points to Tyler Bradley. That's even that's just as good. He's going to be a big favourite going into it. 9 points will go to the 88 of Max Anderson, who had a good day, but not enough to get towards the title. 8 points will go to... Joe Rutkowski, so eight for Joe. It's, it's just maybe could have done with a few more. Seven to Stapleton in the 24. Then we got six going towards Luigi Octavo. Not enough for him to go to Homestead, unfortunately. Five points going to go to Co Luigi. Not been the chase that he wanted. Four points towards the 15 of Mathis Wells, who again has just struggled throughout this chase. It's not been the chase that he was hoping for. Three points. I'm going to go to Ethan Strite. Two points to Keith Stevens, who's had an awful chase. And then one point towards the unfortunate Colton Yo. Who will not be making it to Homestead for the Cups. So, it looks like a three-horse race for the title. Five points separate Tyler Bradley, Hamill and Rutkowski. Those are the only three that can make it. It's going to be wild. It's going to be eventful. Catch you then. Four. The Cup Series Finale. I hope you can all join us then. Thank you guys for watching. Be there. Half 4 EST. 5 EST. We'll see you then.